Hey, what's up guys, and welcome to my tutorial for the Easy Stick Boomerangs. In the last video, I got a lot of requests and comments, and over a thousand people voted on the poll that I had in my video. I'm going to show you how to make two really easy stick boomerangs that fly great, and you'll see that in a second. To make both, you'll need six craft sticks that you can get at a local craft store, and these cost about six cents each. I think you can get 60 for four dollars. You're also going to need some tape, a ruler, a rubber band, a pencil. You'll also need some sharp scissors just like these. We might also use some sandpaper or a nail file. Whichever one you guys have is fine, but it's not necessary. Now, they're really super easy to make, but it's going to take some practice to get them to fly. Once you see how much fun I had with them and how they fly, I think you guys are going to have a lot of fun and you're going to love them just like I did. So before we start, let's check out some clips of me throwing them. The first thing we're going to do with the sticks is create what's called an airfoil, and this allows the stick to get a lift because the air is flying faster on top and lower on bottom. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but that's basically what it's going to do. Now this is a side view of the stick. To do this, we're basically going to make a line on the stick vertically two to three millimeters from the edge, from here in. So let's go ahead and do that. As you'll see, each of these individual marks right here are one millimeter, so it's a very small increment. So we're going to go up to the third one right here on each of the sticks, and we're going to make three marks. Just like this. There is one mark, two marks, and three marks. Once we have the three marks, then we could take the ruler and place it directly next to the marks, not on top of it because you need room for the pencil. Hold it steady, and then draw a line going all the way down through those three marks. Now you'll have something that looks like this, and you're ready to take off the excess wood. Now we're going to remove the excess wood along that line that we took on this edge so that it looks something like this. It's easier, I believe, if you take the stick in your left hand, take the scissors in your right hand. Now, you're mostly going to be using this back top edge here. This is a little bit longer, a little bit sharper than the other edge here. So you're going to hold it like this, Move the stick away from you and towards you, back and forth like this, okay? As you do this, you'll notice the wood will shave off as you can see here. Keep doing this until you get close to the line. You aren't trying to chop or cut the wood at the intersection of the blades. Work your way back and forth up and down the stick, and we're almost done at this point. Leave your thumb here at the base, because this part doesn't need to get shaved because that's where the sticks are going to join. You don't need to go all the way down to the end, but you can hold the scissors vertically and that'll smooth things out. As you can see by that shadow right there, we removed the excess wood along here at an angle all the way up to about right here, okay? Now I'm just going to take the nail filer and I'm just going to go over and smooth things out and kind of round it off, okay? A little bit. Take the nail file and move it up and down along the stick. Move the stick down and then keep on doing the same thing with the nail file relatively at a low angle. Be careful not to poke yourself and this will give the stick a nice smooth feel. And there you go. We have completed one of the airfoils. Now you need to do this with the remaining five sticks if you do want to make both boomerangs. Now that we have airfoils for all six sticks, which I showed you should look something like this, you should see a nice shadow when you hold it up to the light, sort of like that, we're going to just take two of them to create the bi-blade or the two-bladed boomerang. So just take two and you could set the rest aside. Now we're going to take the stick on the left, hold the one on the right 
completely vertical up and down and you're going to take the one on the left and you're going to twist it clockwise so that the airfoil is now on top. And then we're going to take the end, join it up to the other end and leave about a half of an inch to maybe three quarters of an inch of overlap for both ends of the stick, just like this. I'm going to take a little bit of tape, about a half of an inch in width, and I'm going to cut it off. You can also use scotch tape if you want, but I find it's not as strong. Now that we have a piece of tape that's about a half to three quarters inches in width, we're going to take the two sticks, hold them steady like this, and we're going to start like this. Take the tape and starting about a half inch below the bottom of the top stick, place it down, being sure to crease in the edges and flip the tape to the other side. Then we could flip it over and do the same thing. Place the tape around a half inch above the top stick, crease into the grooves and flip the tape over to the other side. Now we just need to cut off the excess edges just like this. And there you go. That's how to make the bi blade boomerang. Now if you find that it comes apart with just tape, you can also take a rubber band and wrap it around. I'll show you how to do that with the one with four blades, but you can get away with it with just tape for the bi blade. To make the quad blade or super stick boomerang, we're going to need to do the same thing except with four of them. So on each of them, just hold that airfoil on the left side like this. And we're going to start out with the two sticks here. It doesn't matter which two. We're going to hold one like this vertically so that the airfoil's on the left. Now take the next one and turn it 90 degrees clockwise so its airfoil is on top and place it directly on top of the first stick. Take the next stick, turn it 180 degrees so the airfoil is on your right and place it directly on top of the second stick. Take the last one and turn it 90 degrees counterclockwise so the airfoil is on the bottom. So if you look closely, it should look something like this in the middle. Now, I'm going to do the same thing with the tape. I'm going to take about a half of an inch of tape, and starting out, I'm going to tape this one to this one like this. Apply the tape directly across the horizontal blades first, creasing in any grooves. Then you can take a second piece and place it vertically along the vertical blades, again creasing the tape in any grooves, just like this. Now that we have them taped on top, we're just going to gently flip it over like this, try to hold it in the middle, and flip it over. Make sure that all the sticks are 90 degrees from the adjacent stick. For this side, you could place a piece of tape vertically from top to bottom. Then you could take a second piece and just like before, tape it across the horizontal blades creasing in the grooves so it should look something like this. Now we're going to take the rubber band because this one will come apart if you throw it and it hits something because you need a little bit extra than tape. So just pick it up, hold it nice and firm in the middle here like this and we're going to first put it around one of them, hold the rubber band in the middle and then wrap it around the top one. Then we're going to twist it on the bottom like this, hold it, and then we're going to go around this next one and this next one. Try to make sure that the overall X is in the middle here and not pulling on these blades. So now we have that. Now we're going to turn it again, and we're going to go between these two. So you're just going to go between these two, then these two, then these two, and then just keep on rotating it until the rubber band becomes too tight. So just like I showed, twist it around the two adjacent ones, Underneath, twist it, and then bring it around the top two. Twist it, bring it around the top next two. It's starting to get a little bit tight here, so I might be able to do one more, I might not. Looks like I could, so I keep going around these two, and then twist it, and then go around the next one, and I'm done. And there you go. Just make sure all of these are 90 degrees. You can kind of move them around at this point. Now just make sure, looking at it, that when you're holding the bottom stick towards you on the bottom, the airfoil is on the left. Same thing when you rotate it. The bottom stick, airfoil is on the left. Bottom stick, airfoil is on the left. Same thing with this one. And there you go. You have created two really easy stick boomerangs. Now here's how to throw them. To throw the bi blade boomerang, what we're going to do is to make sure that the airfoils are on top of the stick. So the airfoil here, when I'm holding it like this, is on this side and this side. You can see it right there and right here. Then you can kind of just hold it like this, put your pointer finger right here on top, your thumb like that, and hold it between your three fingers. And you're going to basically give it a nice spin. It's all about getting the spin with the boomerang. So you're gonna kind of flick your wrist and throw it like that. Also, instead of throwing it perfectly horizontal, you're going to want to give it a little bit of a lift, maybe at like a 30 or 40 degree angle like that. So I'm gonna kinda aim up like this while giving it a nice spin with my wrist like you would throw a frisbee. Oh! Just like that. Wow. Oh. Oh. 
to throw it overhand like this, it doesn't fly as well, but the same thing, you're going to make sure that the airfoils are on top here and on top here. Then you're going to grip it kind of like this with two fingers and your thumb here. And it's all about really giving it a nice spin by letting it roll off the tip of your two fingers. So you want to get a nice spin. You could also hold it like this if you want, almost like a pen. Then you're going to throw it like this, maybe at like a 70 degree angle and up a little at like a 30 degree angle, just like that. I ran out of daylight, but I'm gonna show you how to throw it to yourself, basically to make it flip and hover. It's gonna go like this, and then it's gonna flip, and then it's gonna hover. And you do that by taking it just like this with the airfoils on top, and just holding it like this with your finger on the edge, and your thumb and middle finger like this, and you basically just flick it out, a little bit angled up like a frisbee, and you just flick it like that. Throw the quad blade boomerang with your right hand. Make sure all of these airfoils are facing to the left when you throw, as you see them here on top. Then grip it between your two fingers and thumb like this, almost like a pen, and throw it hard at a 70 or 80 degree angle, trying to get the most spin you can. stick boomerang. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching my tutorial for the easy stick boomerang. Oh wait, no, that's my real one. The easy, the easy stick boomerang. The easy stick and super stick boomerangs. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, please give it a like down below, a thumbs up, and also be sure to subscribe by clicking that notification bell and subscribe button down below. Also, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Do you want to see a really easy ninja star spinner? Or maybe how to juggle? Or maybe some kirigami, perhaps the kirigami spider web and the spider for Halloween. I think that would be pretty cool. I could try to get it out by then. Also, if you want, you can try to make the tri-blade boomerang. I'll put a poll up in one of these corners here, so be sure to check it out and vote. And the highest vote, I'll try to make that video as soon as possible. And if I don't see you by the 31st, have a happy Halloween.